Hello everyone, I'm Da Wei. Welcome to the presentation about a case study in the subject of e-strategic management. The presentation topic is e-strategic management advice for UMG company. Let's look at our case study outline. First, we are going to introduce the overall background of UMG and we are going to do a quick SWOT analysis. After that, we are going to give the e-strategy advice for the finance department and uh, advice for idea lab department and also the advice for ICT department. And after that, we are going to talk about the strategy expansion to Asia target customer and uh, we will also give some suggestions to the online prices of UMG. So the first part is UMG overall background. UMG is a immersory group of company which was firstly founded in 1998 in Miyama. UMG gained trust of customer and 50% market share of the whole country. And for the weakness, in the process of rapid development, UMG also have a series of problems. For example, weakness of international experience, weakness of developing e-business strategy, weakness of operating experience in the new department. And for the opportunity part, in Myanmar and Asia, the construction of some industry is relatively blank. This blue ocean market provides a good development opportunity for UMG. Market opportunities to expand, expand our business into nine business sectors and over 40 subsidiaries, including capital goods and retail, financial service, food and beverage, property and infrastructure, information technology, and also startup and innovation department. And for the threat part, the rapid develop of the company and expand to many business sectors may bring threat for UMG. More departments respond more personal costs and investment costs. This will increase the risk of the company's capital chain. At the same time, the lack of in-depth experience of relevant department may lead to errors and uh, inefficiency. It may cause losses to the company's brand, value, and profit. For the second part, we are going to look into the finance department. For the background, there are increased customer demand for small loans in Asia. There are also opportunities and profits exist in the market segmentation. Based on the current situation of UMG finance department, we have already got the bank license and we have the ability to issue loans and operate under the banking rules. And uh, we have the digital platform strategy like mobile banking. According to our analysis of UMG's financial sectors, we have integrated the company's liquidity asset and take out some of the liquidity funds. It is a feasible electronic strategy to provide microcredit to Myanmar customers through the mobile app platform and the website platform. Under the bank's rules, by lending to those people who needed customers, the finance department and company can obtain higher profit. For the third part, we are going to talk about the advice for idea life department. For the idea life department, the ambitions of idea lab is to encourage the development of technology-based business and uh, entrepreneurship within Asia. The purpose of the department in exchange for promoting technology entrepreneurship team 
up to 20% share. My suggestion that Idea Lab is rechanging the department strategy. We could make rules that UMG management and employees are forbidden to propose startup ideas. And at the same time, we will also provide more optimized cooperation for true startup ideas. And we will also optimize online pricing strategy. For example, we will um, set up a Google ADS plan, use the ADS and keywords to attract more Asian startups to learn about the new both win cooperation project offered by Idea Live UMG. After that, more Asia startup will join Idea Live, and uh, this will enhance the department's reputation and the influence of UMG. After more entrepreneurship will think of UMG Idea Live's project when starting a business, so that UMG Idea Live will achieve the goal of acquiring 20% of the shares of the new startup idea company. For the first part, we are going to talk about the advice for ICT department. Owing its own data century is necessary for UMG, because it is the process that must go through to become an internet company. For example, Google, Microsoft, and IBM, they all have their own database center. In order to have our own data centers, we could expand where and possible fair network availability in this country. We can also partner with some telecom supplies and global cloud providers. After that, we can create an e-commerce platform start in Myanmar. We integrate the power of other UMG departments. For example, we provide financial service. We provide food beverage retailer service and CTC B2C business. With the support of the data century, UMG can provide more service, such as internet and network service, hosting service, fiber optics, and uh, radio towers, payment gateways, smart cities, cloud service, and uh, television service, security solution, and uh, other solutions. In the post-epidemic era, Caesar the internet market gain first mover advantage Myanmar and even the Asia international market. For the fifth part, we are going to talk about the target customer and the strategic expansion. So for the target customer, UMG's customers are people in Myanmar, followed by people in Asia countries. For each department, the target population is different. For UMG's financial department, the target customer are those who are in urgent needs of money and who have small loans needs. And for the idea lab department, the target customer are startup with very good ideas, opting active income for UMG by seeking cooperation. And for the ICT department, the target customer is the integration of all departments of the entire company, including capital goods and retail, financial service, food and beverage, property and infrastructure, and also startups and innovation department. The ICT department will provide pro platform service for other departments. And for the strategic expansion, the first step is to understand the changing needs of Asia customer. After that, we should stabilize the mature sectors, for example, the heavy machine, the food and beverage sectors. And the third, we should optimize the e-strategy idea for the new department 
and provide a profitable plan. Gradually change the company strategy, take advantage of the data century, and gradually develop into an internet, com internet company. Optimize the search engine of the company's web page. Use social media to enhance the company's image. UMG takes Myanmar as a century and gradually covers the whole of Asia. For the last part, we are going to talk about the online presence. First, let's look at in the search engine optimization. According to the current UMG webpage search, we can find that if you search for UMG directly on Google, we have no way to discover UMG directly. It proves that UMG is relatively weak in search engine optimization. We can use Google AD to provide UMG with web engine searching optimization solution by modifying company keywords and negative keywords. When searching for Man Myanmar UMG company on the web, it will display first. And uh, for the social media part, nowadays social media is a good way to present our company to the public. We can filter our target customers through big data on social media to deliver interesting advertisements. For example, introduce our machinery and equipment, food and beverage, and financial loan programs on Facebook and Twitter, and even start up cooperation plans. Okay, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.